The Geoscience Society annual conference is a great place for us to connect with the academic community, the people that are involved in the um, core geoscience uh, research, uh, members of the industry that also come to this meet, annual meeting. It's a great place for us to ensure that the information that we hold and can make available um, is well understood and that people know where to go to access it. We can talk to the science community about their programs of research and how they can connect in, um, with the activities of industry and the direction that government wants um, investment to take in, in that regard. The importance of geosciences was recognised very early on by the New Zealand government. And of course, uh, as you know, 150 years ago, the New Zealand Geological Survey was uh, formed and James Hector was appointed as the first uh, scientist by the government. But if we fast forward to today, then um, I can assure you that this government is uh, committed to science in New Zealand. And they've demonstrated that by releasing this document, the National Statement of Science Investment. And I really encourage you to track it down, there's a copy on our website, and have a look at uh, what the statement's saying. Because this statement will actually uh, provide the strategic direction of all of our funds that we have in um, the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment going forward. So not just our contestable funds, but also our infrastructure, our international catalyst fund, all these funds will be guided by the investment. Yeah, so we received our funding through MB's science investment round last year, um, and it was as part of the Energy and Minerals Targeted Research Fund. My, my research is really all about how New Zealand evolved, how New Zealand got to be, um, how was New Zealand created geologically. Um, I particularly focus on our sedimentary basins and that has economic spin-offs, um, particularly in the area of oil and gas research. So one of the, the great systems that New Zealand has is all of the data that companies who are exploring for petroleum collect has to be lodged with the government um, and that's administered by New Zealand Petroleum and Minerals. So after a term of either five years or if a company relinquishes their expiration permit, all that data becomes open file and means it's publicly available. Anybody can use it uh, free of charge. So MB is well placed to take a strong leadership um, role in the management of the knowledge that is acquired from these kind of activities. We're responsible for the regulatory uh, management of the resource allocation, but we're also responsible for the investment in science um, that, that uses this information and augments it. So we are really well placed to, to lead the way in terms of improving the management of geoscience data, its acquisition, in a much more coordinated way than perhaps has been done in the past.